Today we're going to talk about something that I don't usually talk about too much on the channel, which is the acoustic guitar. We're going to be taking a look at the brand new Faith High Gloss 3 Venus guitar. So if you've seen any of my other videos, you may have heard me talking in the past about how I'm not really that much of an acoustic player. I should put more time into it, but I just don't. I'm not someone who spends a great deal of time playing acoustic, although I'd love to be better at it. It definitely exposes a lot of my weaknesses as a player, but I have this guitar here on loan from the guys at Faith, so I'm not getting paid for this video. This guitar is actually here on loan for another project, which I can't talk about, but it's here for that project, and I thought while it was here, I might as well film a video on it because it's such a nice, nice acoustic guitar. This is really, really high spec. It's brand new to their line. It's Indonesian made. If you don't know anything about Faith guitars, they are made in Indonesia, or this one is made in Indonesia at least, and then they are shipped to the UK to a small place called Oswestry, which is sort of mid to North Wales, very, very small town and they are set up by a guy called Patrick James Eggle and his team. So Patrick James Eggle is a great, fantastic boutique guitar builder from the UK, and Faith are a line of guitars that sort of sit underneath his own guitars. You may also be familiar with the stuff that he does with Shergold guitars, and I have featured a couple of Shergolds on the channel. I do use my Shergolds in quite a lot of videos. So Faith are another string to Patrick Eggle's bow. So spec-wise, there's quite a lot going on here, so let's get straight in. So obviously the first thing you'll notice is this really nice, very, very glossy, solid Engelmann spruce top. Now, all the guitars that Faith make are always solid wood. They don't use any veneers, any sort of pressed woods. Everything you're seeing is a solid wood, which obviously translates to the tone of the guitar. You get a much snappier, livelier tone from it. So we've got that Engelmann spruce top there, which is very nice. There's a nice subtle flame to it. You can see it more down here in the lower bouts, but there is a very nice sort of subtle flame to that. But the real magic is this back. We've got a solid three-piece rosewood back, which is incredibly nice looking. You've got the three pieces there, which is actually divided with these nice flamed maple binding lines as well. That's the same as the flame maple binding you see here on the sides of the guitar as well. The bracing inside, you can't really see that, but it's hand scalloped quarter sawn spruce. We've also got the 16 inch fretboard radius, which is incredibly flat. Very, very good for finger picking or percussive acoustic playing. That sits on a Macassan figured ebony fretboard, which is pretty dark. There's a little bit of light flaming to it, but you can't really see it in the camera. You really have to see this thing up close and personal with your eyes. Got a mahogany neck there, which has a satin finish, which is super, super fast feeling. There's no stickiness to it. A tusk nut Grover tuners. There's also a mother of pearl inlay there at the 12th fret. It's the only inlay on the fretboard. At the top, you've also got the mother of pearl face logo. And then we've got the abalone rosette there around the sound hole, as well as all the lovely woods on this thing, because it really does look the part. It has to have the functionality, and it does via this Fishman pickup system. So we've got a three band EQ, a master volume, and a tuner, which you just hold down the screen, and then the tuner comes on. So that's very useful as well, and the tuner automatically mutes your guitar, so if you're playing live, press that tuner, and it cuts the output signal. And also on the subject of all the fancy woods, the bridge on this thing is also made with Macassan figured ebony. As are the bridge pins, those are also ebony pins and they've got abalone dots there on the top. All right, so now we're gonna hear how this thing sounds. You're gonna be hearing this in two separate ways. So in front of me here, I have the Lewitt Audio LCT 440 condenser mic. That is pointing towards the 15th fret at a slight angle there. And I've also got the guitar connected straight to my audio interface via a cable from the output on the bottom. So you're gonna be hearing this in two different ways, like I said, through the mic and through the Fishman INK3 preamp system. I will cut between the two as I'm playing and it will flash up on the screen which one you're hearing so you know exactly which source you're hearing the guitar from. So I'm gonna start off just by strumming some chords so you can hear the difference between the mic and the preamp sound.
Now I'm going to play some picked lines, but using a plectrum so you can hear the difference now between single individual pick notes with the mic and with the preamp. <laughs> With the combination of this body shape being kind of like an OM or an auditorium style guitar and the super, super flat fretboard radius at 16 inch, this actually lends itself really well to finger style playing. This is because the slightly smaller bodies are a little bit more articulate in the top end. They're not as boomy as some of the jumbos and obviously the flat fretboard radius really allows us to get technical. So I'm just gonna do some finger picking now and I'm gonna cut between the Lewitt mic and the guitar's preamp. So there you go, there is the Faith High Gloss 3 Venus. This is a really, really cool, really great playing and sounding guitar from the guys at Faith. If you've tried any Faith guitars yourself, especially some of the higher end ones, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. The tone of these things is fantastic. The fact that Faith pride themselves on using all solid woods really goes a long way in making sure these guitars have the right amount of sort of bite and sparkle and depth and all, all the other adjectives we wanna to use to describe a guitar sound. The fact that this is entirely solid wood really, really helps that. So yeah, this is a fantastic sounding and playing guitar. It feels solid, it feels like it would live up to life on the road. I think you could really give this thing a beating and it would hold its own. And for the price, you know, it's £1,200 in the UK, it's a lot of guitar for the money. It easily outperforms that price bracket in terms of what you get for your money, the build quality, and the fact that it is, you know, set up by Patrick James Eggle and his team as well. That in itself is a sterling endorsement for how good this brand really is. Let me know what you guys think of this guitar. Leave a comment down below. There's also some links in the description where you can check this guitar out for yourself as well. While you're down there leaving a comment, don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button as always. And if you enjoy what I do and you enjoy the videos on the channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. There is a link for that in the description as well, where you can get access to a bunch of different perks that I've put together for you guys in direct thank you for your support. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon.